Hi everybody, my name is Daryl Hornbacher. Uh, I manage a company called Midas Financial and I'm also the co-founder of www.thesmallbizcollege.com. I've been an entrepreneur for over 20 years and own many businesses and have always been very successful at them. Uh, over the course of that time, I was able to glean a lot of information from a lot of different places on financing and credit. And it's always, every time I meet with business owners, money is always on their mind or the lack of money. So three and a half years ago, I founded the Midas Financial Company, and its sole purpose is to teach small business owners about credit so they can qualify for financing. That's what we're going to talk about today. Um, let's start with getting money for startups. Um, contrary to what you see in the read in the press and what you hear out on the street, there is still a whole bunch of money out there for startups and entrepreneurs. However, it's not like it was is is little as a year ago where you could go out and if you had a 650 credit score and a pulse, somebody would hand you a couple thousand, a hundred thousand bucks. That just doesn't happen anymore. Um, we have to be more creative. Um, you have to have a solid and viable business idea. Uh, you have to have made a plan for that idea. And you have to have the credit to back it. So we're just going to go right into what it takes to prepare yourself for debt financing. And I assume everybody knows what debt financing is, but let us uh, I'll just take a second. Debt financing is not an angel investor or a venture capitalist or anything like that. Debt financing is when you go to somebody with money and you borrow it from them, typically a bank or a credit union or a leasing company. Uh, there are many uh, hard money lenders. There are many, many different ways to get money. Um, before we started, a couple of you in your uh, little 30 second pitches told me some things that I have some specific ideas already for you that we'll talk about off camera. Um, but let's talk about preparing for financing. Um, the first and very uh, most very important portion of obtaining debt financing is your personal credit score no matter what anybody tells you. Lenders these days are looking for a bare minimum of a 680 credit score. Um, the higher, the better. Uh, the better rates you will get. Uh, the lenders will just be more proactive in their approach to come, going to you instead of you going to them. Um, credit scores are, are just imperative. Uh, to getting money in this day and age. And you really need to know what your credit score, be cognizant of what it is right now, and if you have issues, what you can do to fix them, and they can be fixed, or many of them can be fixed very rapidly. Um, I like to take clients to lenders uh, that have credit scores of 720 or above which is a little bit above the national average of 692. Um, lenders just tend to look at your history and be much more receptive to your ideas, especially if you're in a startup mode. The other, the, the next part about getting startup money is, is what's called a business score. Um, there are several business scores that are that act just like the uh, personal credit bureaus, but they're business credit bureaus. First off, as you're starting, any of you that are starting out as a sole proprietorship, stop right now and go form some type of entity, an LLC or an S corp. It takes about 30 minutes of your time and costs you about 50 bucks. You can go to the IRS.gov and apply for an EIN, get that EIN number and go to the Colorado Secretary of State's office and it's either 50 or $55. You can register your entity 
It's there for everyone to see. You file your documents. It can all be done online. That gives you some credibility with lenders. It's very important to have that. Once you have a, uh, an entity, you want to go out and obtain a business credit score, and you simply do that by setting up different types of charge accounts with people that report to the business credit bureaus. From Staples to the UPS store to Conoco, all of these people will uh, report to the business credit bureaus. What you're looking for is a Paydex score or what we call a Paydex score of 80, which is a very good to above average uh, business credit score. This is critical this day and age to getting startup money. The other thing you need to be cognizant of is people are, or lenders are going to look at your uh, uh, personal credit utilization status. In other words, how much revolving debt do you have? Um, if you have utilized over 50% of your available revolving debt, lenders start to become skeptical that they don't want to give you any more money and, and over saddle you with, with debt and, and consequently cannot pay them. Talk about time of business, startups are classified by lenders as anybody two years or less. So if you're a true startup starting today, all the way up to if you've been in business for two years, any and all lenders are going to classify you as a startup. Be aware of that in advance and don't take offense to it when they ask you for additional documentation because you are a startup. Startups need a business plan. Go out and get one. Pay for one. Or create one but you need a business plan, it needs to be detailed, and there can't be any fictitious numbers in it. Bankers read hundreds of business plans every week, and they read through this, I just met with one earlier, and they read through this stuff, and they know numbers just by looking at numbers, and they know what you're gonna do. So be realistic, and, and set your expectations high, but stair-step them properly so when you're going to get financing, you will be able to tell a realistic story to a lender. Uh, attach to your business plan, you need solid numbers. You don't have solid numbers because you are a startup. Um, so you need to create them, and this is the crux of what I talk about, and being realistic. Again, lenders see hundreds of plans all the time, and they there's a gauge that they have or an inner matrix that they have that they know a restaurant is going to do a certain amount of volume for startup through for the first 18 months. They know they know an account is going to spend X amount of dollars getting the business started and, and moving forward. So the bottom line is come up with projections that are realistic. Come up with pro projections that you can stand behind because anybody that gives you money, um, especially if you're going to uh, start up, are going to want to look at your numbers ongoing. And if you have set your numbers in unrealistic unre plateaus, um, they're looking at that, they're going to hold you to these numbers. So you really, really need to make them realistic, make them attainable. A banker would much rather see, have you tell them that you're going to lose money for the first 18 months rather than this pie in the sky story that you try and create. Um, give it to them at the start. First month I'm going to lose this much, second month and on and on and on, up to a break even point. Believe it or not, a lender will be much more apt to give you money if, if you're truthful with them. Um, okay, we got 59 seconds to go. Uh, really can't cover everything that I want to cover here in 10 minutes or less, so um, I'm open to other questions afterwards. Um, there are many, many options out there to get money to start a business. Uh, they're everywhere. You just have to know where to go and who to talk to and what to say and make sure your documentation is what it is.